How you do, buckaroos? How the heck are you? This one's sort of a revisit. Uh, well, it is a revisit. I guess it's not sort of. I <laughs> have had this beer before, but I haven't had it in a can, man. Uh, the Zavikel Bavarian style lager. You may notice it is slightly, very slightly cloudy. It is the nature of the style. It is supposed to be slightly cloudy if you look up <laughs> if you look up how this style is supposed to be. Uh, it is not a flaw. It is the way the style is supposed to be. So if it bothers you that it's slightly cloudy, again, I say look up the style. So <laughs> pronounced Vickel, the flagship lager of our reverence series, classically crafted, timeless European style beer, is an unfiltered, you didn't hear me, unfiltered, unpasteurized German style classic that finishes as a smooth, drinking naturally cloudy beer from the yeast. So there you go. I had an argument with somebody one day about that. They, they kept saying, well, it's, a, it's, it's an unforgivable flaw for a lager to be cloudy. It's not a flaw. The style is supposed to be slightly cloudy. Damn. And this was from a brewer. That's what irritated me the most. This guy, well, he said he was a brewer. I don't know if he actually was or not. <laughs> said he was a brewer, you know, and he went on and on about well you could do this you could do that i said look are you familiar with the style he says it doesn't matter our loggers i said look up the style son of a gun dude anyways i didn't look up any of the pertinence on it because i've done a video for this beer before i'll put it in there later if it matters to you uh this is a vehicle this is a vehicle it has a nice aroma uh you know very kolsch like Meaning you really can feel the yeast, uh, it, it is slightly fruity on the nose as well. It's probably about 85, 86 here, somewhere in the mid, mid to high 80s here today. It's very nice, I've got my grill going. I'm reheating my black beans and my pork roast that I did yesterday on here, and then I'm gonna take them in and and pull them apart and, and I'm gonna make some burritos do some burritos enchilada style I got my enchilada sauce simmering inside so I'm gonna wrap those burritos up put them back on here with some sauce and cheese and I'm gonna do all the cooking out on the grill today because that's just how the beer whisperer rolls yeah I'm using my uh, my uh, imperial pint or nonic pint glass I do like these glasses Especially when I can pour a full pint off, I like that a lot. And I think it's 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 I think a, a, a glass like this is really meant for you know many European styles. English and German, I think, is perfect in this glass. It's very aromatically pleasing, even though it's it, it's, it's the aromas aren't crazy big, but they are very pleasing. Again, they're slightly fruity, a little yeasty. The flavor is very clean, it's very crisp, it's very Kolsch-like. It is a perfect summer beer, even though they, you know, their summers, <laughs> summer in Germany is different than summer in Missouri. It is still a very enjoyable beer at any time. It, it's a beer that will go with just about any food. I probably won't pair it with my Mexican food because I have Mexican beer, but um, it is a very nice, uh, very nice lager. So there you go. My revisit of the Zavikel in the can. I do like that they're doing the 16 ounce pint pint cans because they they do the larger european bottle so i'm glad they went this way when they decided to can this time to be a whisper we'll talk to you later